first match of the Summer Block Party. Pro-Am is beginning right now. This is it, these final moments we've all been waiting for. Just a little look at all the players kind of loading in there. And this is, this is the lovely new shot, right? You get to see the camera, the map, the land-ins. Who will go down first, Seek? Well, you know, I think, I think we've had, at this point, nine weeks of open qualifiers. Everybody's ready to just have, take a step back, have some fun. We see Tifu there a moment. A Josh going to Hart. The block with Josh Hart, oh. and I don't know, I see the map. There's some players there as well. There's someone else. You've got Ninja and Marshawn there. They're going to Lazy Lagoon. Looks like potentially uncontested as well. Valkyrie and Justin Jones. Looks like that they might be hitting fatal, and there is so many people there. Everyone's touching down here, and most of these points of interest, oh. these views we're seeing, we have got players all over the place. We've got eliminations coming in. Cypher, Cypher BK finds first elimination of the game over onto JT Brown. Nick, Nick and he popping it up. Oh Laser my. beam. Joey Bosa as well. There is eliminations happening left and right. This wouldn't be a pro-am if it wasn't some good old action, and this is what we tune in here for, guys, because it is popping off. But first up here, Hannibal's touched down just outside of the Mega Mall. So I, if you, as you saw that in that pre-interview, uh, Hannibal has said collectively he's about had 15 minutes total of Fortnite time. Yeah, I can totally so... tell with how he's roaming around <laughs> the side of the map there. Looked like he lost his duo for a second, but it's okay. Hopping over to Vakare here, who's doing the... Nice job, Camus in the outside. Justin Jones, stick it nice and close. You don't want to split up here. You will get punished for, you know, wandering off on your own, I should say. That's right. And that's pretty good, right? Especially if you haven't had time to build up that chemistry. Just keep your partner close, communicate. That is the key. Look at the loadouts, though. Now, you know what's weird, Monsters? I feel like we've been kept calling, you know, the open qualifiers have been hopping in circle four, five, and six, and beyond. And now we're, we're going back to the beginning, back to roots. Love some good old nostalgic early game Man. action because this is, or these are the, you know, kind of tidal waves that you get here in Fortnite. The low tides, the high tides, and it all comes down to uh, every single interaction. Here's Tifu, guys, already has an elimination. I believe that was over on Cray's partner as well because we saw her there for just a moment. Yep, and she's hidden somewhere in the block, not making a sound here. This is not the person you want to go against. Oh, man. Take a look at the first storm circle there on that top right half of the map. Looks like Tipu's going to be pretty close there. Doesn't have to go too far. But everyone else, people down by Frosty, Happy Hamlet, even Lucky Landing, they're going to have to start making that move. Over, over uh, to Action Jackson and Demarius. They've already got an elimination, but Action Jackson is uh, on 16 HP right now. He's in a rough spot, and there's someone pushing with the baller, so he's got to oh. be careful. Left the sidewall open, gets taken down there. Dylan Francis. It's Cloak and Dylan Francis. Look at this. Dylan Francis is playing decoy. He's rolling up in the baller, saying, look at me. I'm Dylan Francis. I'm going to drop some hot tunes on you. And Cloaksy's like, look, pop your head for just one moment. You're gonna get popped, and that's exactly what happens. But there's more players here. You saw Demarius just underneath as well, and Dylan Francis doesn't quite know what to do. You saw a little tick right there from the storm flip. But you know what? I think they're just gonna count as a small victory. This cloak is just moving around here. Wildcat's very close by as well. You gotta think he saw that storm flip go off. Look at this. Demarius is like, look, I uh, just gonna play this really slow. Don't build anything. Just use that natural house cover. <laughs> Just crouch down, keep the, the the footprint here to a minimum. Listen, in his poor mind, he's like, action, they brought you here to come help me. How <laughs> dare you go down so soon? Looks like Wildcat having a similar, uh, being in a similar situation there. Janina has been knocked out, and so Wildcat's got to figure out what he's going to do. This had been, this would have been huge for Demaris if he had gotten to that baller, but Wildcat already on and looking to make those rotations. And don't forget, if he picked up the card, he could potentially go for the revive, the, the, the revive over on Janina. Yeah, good call. And you already saw him kind of pushing up towards the polar oh, peak to God. make that happen. And oh man, I talk about wanted to see Ewok be successful, but no, Aiden just came out and shut that entire dream down. Aiden making quick, quick work of Kurt Ben Kurt. And Ewok. Aiden, I cannot believe you did that. Ewok taught you? you how to sign Ghost, and this is how you repay her? I'm so disappointed. Oh Don't forget, Aiden is also a World Cup Final qualifier. 
So he's looking to represent huge, but overall uh, to Joey Bosa and Nick A30. I think you guys think Nick A30 is pretty cool, right? Nick A30 is great. Losing odds there. There it is, talking about my boy Nick, man. He's got some shots there. That player does not have any shield. He's on three eliminations. Look at the impression. Doesn't even care to pop these minis oh, right now. The he snipe. gets punished. So, down sight from Lemonix. Now, this is where things get a little difficult, right? Because they're gonna start applying oh, no. pressure. Joey's gotta get their very fast builds coming out of Joey. I like this. Now the question is, do Lemonix and his dual partner, Brian, do they try to get aggressive? You think they're just gonna let this revive happen? I, I don't think there's much they can do. They're trying to push towards him, but Jimmy's down in the field, so there's something already going on there. Yeah, and that's a heavy sniper. They gotta get out of there ASAP. Look this at that. is not the fight that they want. This is a fresh duo. It's 200 shield as well, or 100 shield and 100 health. They are very, very tanked up right now. They do not want any of this action, but look, Lemonix, he is hungry. He's oh like, look, I want the charity money. If he had connected, gone for that shot and landed, it would have been huge. More shots, but nothing has connected. Jarvis finds himself in elimination, and we're still at 38 duels, Monster. Don't forget, top 15 is that initial threshold for points. We've still got a long way to go. You know what? I'll tell you this. I'm surprised. There are 71 players still alive right now. Yeah. As much action as you saw just kind of unfold and pop off at the start, dude, I didn't think there was going to be that many guys still alive this late in the game. Yeah, man. Look at this. Pressure plant. You've got Grime. You've got Airwax over from Solary. And up on that Sky platform, you got Matt and FX Sad. Look at this. FPX sad, excuse me. They're, they're just chilling, man. They're just farming up as much as they can. Now, don't forget, uh, Airwax as well, over from Team Solary. He is a dual qualifier. Their entire roster went through in the, not this upcoming dual qualifier, two back. So he's a pretty fierce competitor. He's ready. He's like, Grime, you got me? Grime's like, yo, we're about to win the whole thing. Absolutely. Airwax, I'm a huge fan of what he can do, and not only the solos, but the duos, right? Back at home when he's out there doing his competition. Team Solari is just a great squad, and no, Grime didn't quite realize he could have walked into that little lava uh, pool there. You know, it's, maybe he's just trying to get somewhere fast, you know? It's okay, he just took the free damage. Everything's all good. Someone else is close. We saw the guys drop, and look at this, Airwax calling it out. Lasering, it's Marshawn! Marshawn! And immediately, <laughs> Airwax using that incredible precision to rip him out of the sky. So you know who's close. Marshawn does have a teammate, and that's Ninja, who's right above now, putting fire down on both of these guys. Can he be clutch here? Heavy Snipe comes out, takes a little bit of fall damage. Great grenades down there as well. One is going to connect, Zeke. He's got to try and bank them back so they're fracturing as much of the build as possible. But look at this, he's like, I honestly, I'm not in a great position. Marshawn's already gone. I just probably need to bail on the entire situation. He's got the launch pad monster, but look at this. They're just make, keeping him from making decisions, right? Keeping him isolated, making sure he can't leave. They're using so much, too. There's another oh, team no. from up above! Oh, this might be it for Ninja as he is now back against the wall. The wall replacement does happen. Up to the high ground, he goes! Oh. And Airwax meets him with the combat to the face. Down goes Ninja and Marshawn Lynch for making the wrong rotation. I think Ninja might have stayed around a little bit. He probably wanted to try and go for the card because he did have the launch pad, right? He could have just launched that up and out, but at the end of the day, hindsight is 20-20. Keep it here and his dual partner. Josh Hart looks like someone's trying to get a little bit cheeky right now. I love what he's doing here. Tifu is in the pocket right now, really putting up the pressure. He's just got his teammate Josh Hart over safely in the distance, putting down fire here so Tifu can get these balls, try and get these shots. That's one. Can he get the second? And he does. Tifu with four huge eliminations right now. Zeke, every elimination is worth a point. That's right. If I had to guess, it's probably in the lead right now. That's right. There's only so many points. So we've got Airwax, who has four eliminations. Mm. Nick A30 and Tifu. Wow. Oh. Tied with four. Everyone is popping off. Speaking of Nick A30, you've got Jarvis very close by. This is so scary. If they're not careful, they could very easily meet their end here. Look at this. And Mayers, don't forget, Mayers is on, over here on Jarvis's left. He's ready to respond. Listen, crowd, let me tell you, Jarvis on the controller is absolutely scary. He is so good. If, I, if, I, if I'm being honest, Nick is probably lucky Jarvis wanted to back up right here because his <laughs> shot can punish. No, I am not kidding, guys. This will be a very intense battle if it does pop off, but... Dude, let's talk about 
our Elim leaders, Airwalks, World Cup qualifier, Nick830, the largest one of the largest on the YouTube community for Fortnite and Tifu, obviously another staple person in the community. They are leading right now and popping off and not far behind them is Nick Merckx, guys, with three eliminations. So it's going down right here. Controller gang, if you're here in the building, let me hear you scream for Nick Merckx. You gotta send him your energy. There he is on screen. He sends a shot out over on Grime, and look at this. He wants to get aggressive. Kyle, his duo is down. But look, Nick has been in these types of situations before. He's been competing all qualifier long. And I mean, he's been a competitive veteran across a multitude of titles. Yeah, but he's, this, is, he's this is crazy. Look at the map, guys. There are so many players Ooh. migrating to the Sunny Steps area because this is the center of the next save zone. And unfortunately, Kyle, Kyle's already gone. If I had to guess, Nick is kind of moving towards what might be the, the respawn bus, but look at this, just duos everywhere. Yeah, he's probably honestly not gonna get the chance here. You see him right on the other side of Big, Big Star. Star. Big Star is here. These are two titans of the Fortnite community, and I, I, I gotta know what is going to unfold right now, because keep in mind, Big Star is, first of all, Martin Star is gone. But look at his HP. He has not topped back off the 75. Nick, though, he's got that massive HP advantage. Big Star gonna try and use the impulses to make something happen. Look at this. Oh, you no. saw Nick heard it. He's like, yo, there's someone in here. Where are you? I need to shut you down. Big Star is sitting so still right look now. Nick. Nick. I'm surprised we can see more of his face. This is really cat and mouse. And, and Nick is the cat hunting right now. <laughs> Big Star is the mouse in the corner. Okay. Hidden away in his little tunnel here, but lucky for him. Nick's just, all right, he's gonna keep it calm. He doesn't have a duo. He doesn't know Big Star is by himself, right? Yeah. For all he knows, that could be a fresh duo. So playing it nice and safe here, going for placement points right now. Someone's up above as well, Monster. There are people all the way around Sunny Steps, and the new safe zone is putting us just on top of it. Everyone else on the outside gonna start making their way in. Power up on top. Looks like Tabor and Brian there has gone down, but Lemonix's duo is ready to respond and get the revive. Tifu and Josh Hart, they are topping themselves off with the campfire. This is really important, right? You want to make sure with, when you're going into these next rotations that you have as much resources and HP, basically, to work with heading into these next fights, because that one point of HP could absolutely make the difference. And look at the strat right here. Keeping Josh Hart safe, almost like protect the Prez, <laughs> because Josh Hart's I like color. this. Yes, Tifu's on foot, if anyone even looks his way. He's got that heavy sniper. Ooh. He's going to punish him. Josh Hart just moving on up, getting to that safety zone. He's leaving Tifu behind. Tifu's getting shot up a few times here. I wonder if so he to the guys. The, ba the baller. I was going to say, he passed by an empty bar. This is wow. huge. Okay. They both got ballers. This means that they can be very aggressive in the rotations or extremely safe. They can go and hide if they need to build enough time. Because remember, top 15 is the first round of placements, and we're halfway there. Yep, Tifu already marking the next zone for his teammate. I love that kind of interaction. Just let him know, hey, this is where we got to get to. And talking about places you want to be, that edge, the edge, right? Look at Jarvis here. Jarvis has got two eliminations already. He's doing really good. Look at this. Aiden up on top, doing his best impersonation, rebuilding Tilted Towers on top of Sunny Steps. RIP Tilted. But also, like, what's up, Neil Tilted? I'm about it. Uh, 31 players currently in this game, 31 duos, excuse me, 54 players. So check out this safe zone, right? You've got a lot of players already inside on Sunny, but there's even more that are coming in right now because this, this zone is closing. Another 53 seconds, and then we're going to get a smaller zone to work with. You see, and, and normally we kind of hop in right now and just take you guys straight to the action, but this is how intense it is to even make it to these final moments. Yep. Absolutely. Interactions. Shift everything, okay. But we're looking at the sunny steps. Cloak and Dylan France is still alive, and look who's next to them. It's Tifu oh, and Josh man. Hart. Could we see these two go head to head? I want to see this so bad. Look at this cloak getting maybe a little bit aggressive, trying to scout out Dude. Dylan doing the deal. I like what Dylan's doing. He's watching the other side. He's like, all right, they're out there, you're out there, we've got you. If cloak aggravates that duo they have a heavy snipe the key to open any box might be a huge mistake here but cloak just peeking around right now it's so crazy they don't know how much danger 
all of them don't really realize how much danger <laughs> is all around them in these moments. I think what's going to be key here as well is that Storm Flip. He's got one in his inventory. We saw some recent changes to it. Now, don't forget, these guys also have ballers. We saw Dylan kind of playing decoy a little bit. Look at this. They're, gonna, they're just going to rotate out the back. They're like, you know what? Let's get another position. This is just too hot right now. Let's be able to look at this. There's just people all over the place. It's still so dense. Yep, and this is where the everyone puts on the brakes because you don't get any placement for quite some time, right? The way this format works, you have to play nice and slow to make it to these end games. Every elimination is worth a point, but when you're this far into the late game, it's just too risky. Oh man, wild card here. Guys, if you're a fan of Tim the Tat, man, let's hear you right now. Send him your energy, he needs it. That's right, crowd. You see, you can tell he's like, yeah, they're cheering for us. That's right, Tim, we love you. Also, happy Father's Day, quick follow up there. Now, don't forget, they've got no eliminations, but that's still fine. Yeah, you want, he's you got plenty know, of time. You wanna know what I observed? They are not together. They are His not. His teammate is way off on the corner and they got split up from each other, so that's gonna be interesting. RL Grime in Airwalks here. Got to touch base with them down in the player lounge. Grime very just shy. He didn't even want to get on the interview, but Airwalks is all about it. That's what I expect from a World Cup qualifier. Now look at Airwalks leading the push. This is what I love, the pro player saying, follow my lead, just follow my lead. And bam, yoinks that base right from underneath their feet. And it's his now. He's got some high ground. He did lose his teammate, though, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. Grime builds right up. Now they're at six eliminations as a team. Man, this is really good. So I like that the that Airwax is going in first. You know, Airwax is, is so comfortable in these situations. He's always been competing again. A qualifier going to the finals in New York City. So he's like, I'm, I'm completely happy to go in first, oh, right? Yeah. I'm either going to run into their pro or their other player. And then at that point, it's like a 50-50, right? Do I take the shot? Maybe he goes on the defense and just creates a little nest like he did here for him and Grime. Really great stuff. I like to see it. Now, this is where things get fun. All right, this next, okay, cool. The next circle, we're going back into Sunny Steps. Okay, over old builds. Dude, look at that Elam feed. Loser food just picked up two more. She's holding it down. She said she would. Listen. Loser Fruit, in case you don't know, she is an absolute slayer. She was part of the Llama Record Company yesterday. They want her. We got Jordan Fisher, Curry JD, and Lester, the golden ticket winner. And at the end, the, the team collectively said Loser Fruit was the person that held off squads by herself. She was the reason we won this entire thing. That's right. Holding That's what Courage JD said. I'm just repeating what Courage said. Hey, I mean, if, if Courage. It's to be that humble that you have to agree and appreciate that response. But Airwalk still has that sniper. He's putting down some shots. Didn't quite connect right there. They're hunting. This World Cup qualifier is on the hunt right now, traveling from across the world, really. Oh, takes up the launch pad. That's the death trap for all these players back here. Takes out another launch pad. They're putting down pressure. No one's safe now. That's one Elim right there. Can he get a second? That is going to get followed up. He takes out a World Cup Whopper, but he goes down. The action is insane. Mark, another one. Watch his elimination feed in the top left. You've seen not only Airwax and Grime eliminating people left and right, but Tifu as well. He's on six Elims. Airwax is on seven. Nick Merckx and Nick A30 are both in this tie with five eliminations. There were still so many players left to be cleaned up, and we're finally getting down nearer and nearer to top 15. Just think about that monster. This is the first game and we're not even in top 15 yet. No, no one's gotten placement, guys. Top 15 duo is going to get them placement. There are 20 teams remaining in this game. That means there are loads of people that are solo at this point, already lost their teammate, like Gotaga, top, sitting there by himself right now. Airwax does have another player knocked right by him. Grime is also very weak right now, so they're in a little 2v2 scuffle in that close quarter right there. This is just a nice little aerial view of everything that's going on on the edge of the map. All of your favorite players, Symphony's still in it. Oh man. Luzelka is still in it. Monster, you know what time it is. It's just about time for that moving circle. We get a nice view at Nick830. What's going on with him? He, knocked, he knocked Josh Hart, yep. so Tifa lost his teammate. 
but this is Tifa we're talking about. He can clutch up things. Now look, Nick is out of oh, materials. No. Six eliminations and only a single magazine left in the AR, but plenty of slugs in that combat shotgun. He's gonna look and try and navigate these and catch players off guard if he can, because he desperately needs materials. A player behind, 102 to the face, that's Cody Walker. He is down. Nick cannot build right here, Zeke. He just, he's looking, he's looking for anything. He needs to make something happen, he needs the material. Cody Walker went down, but he's so far away, and Nick gets traded out by Cyber PK. Oh my. A friend, Deep here with seven eliminations and material galore. Ammo, he's got it all, but so does Airwax. These two, and Cloak and Dylan Francis on this, Jarvis as well. So many massive names, Aiden here too, Symphony. Mutes out, there's so many names, Juju getting dropped. And look, Tifu goes down, Airwalks took him down! Airwalks is on 10 eliminations, he took out Tifu, took out Juju, and he's still going, he's got the high ground. 900 materials, someone is behind him, what's he gonna do? Just builds up right now, trying to find a little moment to kind of gather himself right and catch back up. And off he goes, he's got shadow bombs, is he gonna start rotating? He's got to, he's got to go perfect, out. that's right, let everyone else battle it out. Just ignore them all. You're one duel away. Cloak and Aiden both go solo. down. They go down the crossfire. It's a free for all right now, just like you said. Oh my, can he get this one right here? That's huge. Finds another one. He's at 11 elimination seats. He finds someone else in the zone. That's another top four situation. That was Lachlan. He shuts him down. Right now, Airwax is in such a commanding and powerful position up on the high ground. And don't forget, this storm flip is just eating this entire zone. There's only so much space these players can work with. He's just waiting, waiting for a full sentence. It's Symphony, he shuts him down. It's a 1v1. Who is the other player that's left? Oh! Here it is. He's, He's going to go with the X. Oh! Airwalks with the 14. Elimination victory for the first game here, Zeke. That is why he's a World Cup qualifier, representing from across the sea. Airwax, a 14 elimination victory royale. 24 points, and here are those final moments. Symphony cracks Bell, takes him down, and look, Patriot is just on the other side of the wall. He's gotta be careful as to how he's navigating. And look at this, Airwax is already on that power position. He's waiting, he's saying rotate. Don't forget, he waited that half second to make sure Symphony felt confident. And then look at this, it was just about text for closing up the victory royale. Honestly, I thought he was gonna try and land for the pickaxe. Dude, my he heart of hearts, I was like, please don't do this person like that. Don't do it. It was so close, man. Nonetheless, what a grand finale that was just for that single game. And let's give some credit to his duo. Let's give some credit because his duo, RL Grime, also had two eliminations. That was a 16 Elims off of just, just that alone. Yeah, so don't forget, even though his teammate only had the two eliminations, this is a cooperative effort, right? Yes. Grime could have been sending shots in, and it's just Airwax that actually cleans up the elimination. So, still though, my goodness, how I don't even, first of all, mad props on the dabs, not as good as the micro dab, but still, it's still pretty good. What an incredible first game. That was just the first Zeke. game of the Pro-Am. This is the Pro-Am, all right? It's going down. I'm losing my That voice. was great. I'm losing my voice. That's what's just gonna happen. Tomorrow I'm gonna have no voice. Now you guys in the audience here in the LA Forum, what'd you think of that first game? That's what I'm talking about. What an incredible game there. We saw Tifu, Cloak, uh, Aiden, Dylan Francis, Symphony, these power Nick players. Nick versus Cypher PK. Nick, Nick had no mats. That was oh crazy. Oh my gosh, dude. Three more games like this. My heart can't take it. I can't, but we're gonna, we're gonna push through. We're gonna push through. What an insane game. Don't forget to use that hashtag, Summer Block Party. Send us your favorite moments. Tell us how you're enjoying this crazy event. It's so much fun. Uh, Dr. Luba put, put it best. I believe he's what he said, it comes once a year. Ninja yeah. said it best, I'm sorry, excuse Ninja. me. Ninja said it that best. That was the interview I had with him, I remember. This kind of event only comes around once a year. You really just gotta embrace it, soak it all up. And, and this is what happens when you put competitive players with you know, some big profile celebs, man. Anything can kind of go down. We saw at the end there, it turned into a good old fashioned solo though too, right? Yeah, for it's sure. It's like, all right, celebs, you, you guys hold it down. Wait, it's time to get serious. And it started really punching to the metal right there. I feel like it's always gonna be like that. Cause like, you gotta think if you're like someone like Tifu, right? You're like, okay, I've, I've been playing these qualifiers. Like I have a set competitive way of playing. You're like, oh, I'm gonna relax. And you see like a guy like one by one a certain way, like faster than everyone else. You're like, you know, it, it would be- Is that closey? It would be impressive 
if we can get a like a serious duo to just kind of stomp all the way through. So, you know, give a little extra shout out to whoever can pull that one through. Yeah, for sure. Now, of course, we've got to send it down to an interview with our winners, Airwax. So we're going to send it right now and over. Hey, Zeke, thank you so much. I am down here with Airwalk and RL Grime, our first winners today out of four games. You guys performed exceptionally well. I, that many eliminations, I don't think any of us thought that we would see it today. Can you walk us through what it was like during that game? It was easy. It was easy. It's simple as that. I don't know if it was 50 pros and 50 amateurs, but I only saw 98 bots. Whoa, we got some fighting words already. <laughs> Amazing job, though. So, Arl Grime, one question. What is it like performing music around the world versus performing here and competing on this stage? Yeah, it's very different. Uh, it's nice having a teammate to help you up there. And luckily, my teammate's a beast, so, yeah. Yeah, your teammate is a beast. Well, good luck you two going forward. I'm really looking forward to see how well you do in the next three games. Thank you guys so much. Back to the casters. Thank you, Thank you so much, Kitty Plays. Man, Airwax is putting in so much work there. If Grime as well, these guys are a fearsome competitor. Listen, Grime makes music. He might just have to write himself a little, a little symphony of what, what went down here today for Airwax because, man, that guy's a, he, he, he's a person. That's for sure. I, 98 bots? 90, that's... That's a personality That's right aggressive. There. All right, that's aggressive way. But don't forget, in the interview we had, I was like, hey, you know, like, is there another duo? You look at, and I always do this, like, toss out the, like, are you guys the best? You're like, ha, you're the best. And he's like, no, I'm the best. I'm Airwax. And I was like, okay. You won first <laughs> game with, like, 16 Elims as a duo. So, okay. All right. I like to see it. Yeah, and, you know, talk about things you like to see. Let's go ahead and send it down to Sundown, who's got, you know, a little breakdown of some of the things that went down today. Thank you so much, Monster and Zeke. And I actually had an opportunity to chat with Airwalks and RL Grime right before us. And they were like, you know, I don't really, really feel like doing interviews that much, but if we win a game, maybe, and then boom, right out of the gate, Airwax said, I'm gonna win the Pro-Am, I'm gonna win the World Cup. It doesn't matter what it is, but now let's take a look into what happened in the last game and a little bit of the action. So first, we're gonna hop on board here with Tifu, see what's up, takes that TAC AR, and then just right away, rips Cray apart, brilliant shots there, and on board with what ended up being our Victor Royale. As you can see Airwax taking great shots to the sky, RL Grime, throwing some shots over, and that was Marshawn Lynch. You can immediately see how Airwalks checks above him. Where are those shots around? Knowing that Ninja is lurking and around in there. The shots come down. They both make sure they box up, but from a combined effort with Grime throwing down shots with the AR and then able to take it away, Tfue putting pressure down with that tactical shotgun. What he does best, picking up Do Young Kim and then Nick A30 going to work, showing off the accuracy of the tactical AR at range, just brilliant to pick that one up and getting the full elimination onto Xavier Woods. And then Pipe Punk showing off that sniper rifle, the semi-automatic. It gets a lot of error, but Valkyrie caught that one. Yeah, give him a little bit of Pog Jam up there. And also, you know, they said Airwalks put putting the work, but RL Grind putting the work here, saying, my song for your Adams, well, how about for my builds? Getting a nice little double ramp up, one by one himself out, and then editing down and reset. I see you putting on some work there on the side, but brilliantly done. Game one was fantastic. Some great moments, but we're going to throw it back up to the casters at the desk. Monster and Zeke, take it away, gents. Thank you so much, Sundown. We are back there. Good to see Courage AD looking so good. Dr. Lupa and Jordan Fisher. And don't forget, we've got three more games on deck. We're getting ready to head back into the next one. Of course, everyone's reboarding the battle bus. That's the way it works. But really quickly, before we hop into this next game, let's take a peek at the standings. I'm curious to see how things are shaking out for these players. Because Grime and Airwax, I mean, no that surprise. lead. Absolutely no surprise there. Airwax way up at the top. But hey, look at through second through 10th. Cloak and Dylan Francis, Tifu, Josh Hart, Aiden Lasky, Symphony. Did we expect anything different? Nick A30's up there at eighth place. This is, this is awesome for them. They're still in top 10. This is anyone's ball game. That's right, and it only, you know, it, this is just the first game. Even if you were eliminated 100th, excuse me, it's not that big a deal. You got three more games to show up. You just need a game like this. 
where you get 26 points. And here we jump to page number two, more names. Don't forget, everyone's gonna get a little bit of that pie for charity. So many big names, so many more games to hop into. And of course, I cannot wait to get back into the action. So this is a good question. Are you guys ready for game two? I feel like everyone fell asleep or something. You want to try that again? You want to wake them up again? Is anyone ready for game two? There we go. That's what we're talking about, Fortnite fam. You saw top five. You know how insane these next few games are going to be. Let's hear it one more time for all the players playing in the pro and make some noise. And here we go, Monster. Four, three, two, one. The battle bus has launched. And we're coming in over Gus, heading by to Snobby Shores. Almost a perfect cut down the center of the map. And yet again, you get to see all the players' perspectives, see how they're zoned in right now. They want to try and get some of this charity money. They want to be the best among their peers. They want to say we for the Pro-Am champions. Yeah, not only that, you take home a sweet, sweet trophy. Mm -hmm. Remember, there's only two. That's right. Well, now, well, so, so there's four in the world, and Ninja and Marshmallow took last year away. Oh, yeah, they already own those. So, you mean, if, if you're like Ninja, I'm thinking, I want to try it. I'd like a second gold pickaxe, you know, why, then I have two, and then I can kind of dual wield them. So, I hear some people chanting, let's go, Ninja. That's what I'm talking about. Of course, of course. But here we go. These players are making their descent. Now, the question would be, are they going to swap things up? You think they're maybe thinking, I've got, you know, Tifu landing with me. Maybe I go somewhere else. You think, just, just stay the course. What do you think? No, absolutely. I think my rule of thumb is if you land in game one and you get just taken out, maybe give it another game. But if it doesn't work a second time, man, it is time to get out of there. As Brendan Urie takes out Justin Jones. Wow. Encourage JD shuts down Valkyrie right out of the game. Let's see. Xavier Woods as well is down. We, we just talked about losing in the early game. Nick A30 had so many eliminations last time. This is why. If you land Fatal Fields, he's ready to bring it to you. And it looks like he's got himself a flint knocking. Xavier Woods, man, all that smack talking. Even Royalistic are not doing so hot, unfortunately. <laughs> well, this is Nick A30 we're talking about. Pretty, uh, pretty fearsome. Pretty fearsome here. But over on the other side, Courage JD, Brendinger, we saw Courage eliminate Valkyrie. She's been gone. That's it. Back in the lobby, waiting for that next bus. That's right. And Brendan took out someone else there. It was Ju Justin Jones. But over on your right-hand side, guys, here's the format. Don't forget, 15th. So get them a couple points. That's a long way out, up to 10th. And then 5th as a duo. And last but not least, that Victor Royale. Every elimination up until that point, or up until then, is worth one point. But a little bit of a skirmish going on here is Courage is getting shot up, so he's already lost the shield. He's, he's down to just bandages. He needs to make something happen, man. He's got to find a half shield, some minis, anything at all, even a medkit to get him back up to the 100. Brendan's in the same position, right? They don't have much to work with. Ammo looking very, very sparse right now. Basically, whatever's in the, the gun is what they have. Yep, no shield. Oh, Barely anything else. They're in like a weird pinch here. Those players have that high ground. And you know, when, when a good player lands a, a shot like that, that just gives them confidence. Like, hey, they don't even have shield. I hit both of them. That's why uh, Taven Bryan's pushing up here. He's got the 100 shield already. And you got to think too as well, right? Like you, you send a few shots their way first, and then you've waited 30 seconds before they sending more shots over. If you don't see blue numbers, which is those shields, you're like, oh, they don't, they, they're probably at 75. <laughs> off of whatever we hit them for. So you know they're looking to hunt these players down. They want to shut down Courage JD. Look at this. They're just making rounds. Are they in this house? No, nope, not in this one. I'm loving these angles right here. Lemonix is just looking around right now. He's on the hunt. Slurper Juice, or the Slurp Juice is already ticking here. So with every second that passes by, his health is going up. Shots coming in from the side using this little bit of distraction. He's going for that high ground. A little one, two right there. It's his now to take. He got a handful of builds. Now he's got the drum gun in hand. He also even has the swarm lift, but look at this. Tavern finds Brendan Yuri. He is gone. Where is Courage? Lemonix he gets picked out. up. That's it. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I heard this right, 
Chandler Riggs got a pickaxe elimination. I think we gotta go to this replay. I gotta know. Chandler, go! Oh. Reliving the walking dead saying, get oh. away from me, zombie. Can he wow. find it? Dude, that was aggressive. Look at him go here. Just beating down players. No weapons, doesn't even need them. Wow, that really was like the walking dead because all he had after was just a pistol. That's, That's it. Right. Back oh, with Ninja. In. Man, oh, his teammate's down. He's probably just got to abandon him. He's got to say, look, you know what? We're not really in a good spot to take this. Maybe we'll just fail. Now, if you're Ninja, you know, you got to think, I can't let this just go. Look at that. Immediately turns. Muzelk going to take a face full lead there. Got to be careful. Muzelk does know how to use those weapons. He's also a daily Fortnite player. Hopping back to the Happy Hamlet. One shot, girl. You know, I'm not going to lie. Very happy to see Julie here. This morning she woke up. She was saying, not feeling too hot. But in the end, she went to the doctor, got it all taken care of, and now she's joining us. Very happy to see her here. So, of course, Fortnite fam, if you're tuning in, please just go send some love her way. I know she's very much appreciated, but look at this zone right now. You know, these guys are sitting very comfortably in Happy Hamlet. And, uh, you know, if you, there's this play space they've got to work with. Uh, some of it's in the water. Ooh, another very weird zone. Super south of the zone here. Whenever that happens, it typically leads to more congestion, but hopping in with Jarvis, who's got this high ground. We're at Paradise Palms. Jacob lands in a nice little stinker right there. It's going to flush him out. And uh, he's peeking. He knows where he's at. This is more ticks for Jarvis. That's another 15 health. Sends in a second. Doesn't quite connect that time, but at least he knows. All right, this box has been flushed out here. Gives his teammate a little bit of time to kind of gather together. Myers is just a little too far here from Jarvis, though. That's good. I, I really like, even if you didn't necessarily get a bunch of damage over, you're just, you're just using that to buy yourself a little bit of time, collect yourself, meet back up with your duo, and then reassess the situation. Now, Jacob, he's making a pretty aggressive push here. He knows that Jarvis is up on that hill, and he's trying to just be a little more aggressive. He's trying to find an angle, if possible, but he's like, look, we don't need to be fighting head on right now. Let's just keep moving, let's just make it into safety, and then we'll, we'll kind of deal with this threat in a little bit. Yeah, you got to respect it. He's definitely trying to back off right now and see if he can find the prime time opportunity. Maybe bait him in and, and get a couple shots. That's why he's backing up here, seeing if they can fall for this little bit of a trap to expose themselves, but that's going to kind of diffuse itself. We got back to Cody Walker and, and Lachlan here. Now, Lachlan, if you were watching the elimination feed, he just picked up Pokemon. She has been eliminated. Lachlan, code name Elf, code name Locky here. He is hungry for. He sees the player running there. A few great shots. They're on very low HP, and there you go. Martin Doherty is picked up as well. And you know, this is looking like a whole different game. The last one, we were barely at 70 plus players alive. You know, it took a little bit of time, but I think we got that first game jitter out the way. This is only Storm Wave One. Leading into the second zone here, and, and look at the shots haven't stopped. I mean, Lachlan is disgusting, all right? He's ready. He is honed in, looking for more players. But look at this, man. They are in the storm. Now, they don't have too far to go, but this is just damage you don't want to be taking right now. Oh, and there is a baller there, so see Lachlan <laughs> running straight for it. He's going to have to dip out on Cody. Sorry, bud. He's like, so, I, I'm going to be okay. <laughs> just... <laughs> Just make it into safety. I think, so Cody, I feel like he probably should have transferred the baller over to Cody just because he's got a shield to work with, but I think he's making this aggressive play because he's trying to get ahead of Cody, just make sure there's no one just ahead of them. Because if they make a wrong rotation, they could be cleaned up off of it. Yeah, when it comes down to the storm, definitely is, or begs the question, right? Hey, you got a storm flip, you'll be okay for a little bit. If you desperately need it, he does have a make it as well. So yeah. he's okay here, but hopping over with Matt Gone here and FBX Sad there and a little bit of a fight. R.O. Grimes got the high ground, but look who it is. Airwalk taking up two players. He doesn't care. He's right in the box here. His teammate's gone down. Airwalks versus Scarlet and Ellie here. Stickers are coming out. Airwalks is chewing it up. Sad actually got the pick there. So this is not looking too good for Airwalks. I think too much smack talk in the previous game. Scarlet does take him out. And now Sad's making a full on push here. FBX Sad. Here comes the dynamite. That storm flip just gonna minimize the effect in play space, force people into Sad's clutches here. He's looking to find another elimination. He's got himself that slur, but don't forget that's healing over time. He's gonna just wait it out. Another storm flip coming out. Okay, run for the hills. Don't forget this is five damage to your HP. 
And look at this, they've only got so much room to work with right now. Sad finding himself in a little bit of an awkward position. Look at this, Fuse up gets here, he's like, hello, are you fighting? I'd like some of this, please. This, uh, this is just perfect for Sad here. Now he's just turning everything around at this point. Matt needs to jump in here and help his teammate out. Is he gonna be able to do it? Yo, look at Sad with the quick Eddie right there, showing why he's oh. here today. Hello, representing Bye Bye Buzel. You jumped into the wrong battle, buddy, as he is still holding it down. He's gonna make Muzelk very sad after that performance. Come on, guys, you know I had to. Now the question is, what happens next? Juju is by himself. He's sitting in a one by one. Now he doesn't know there's a launch pad. We see the launch pad, don't tell him. We've got Ellie and Scarlet over there. And, and Sad is now just thinking, okay, I definitely know there was a duel while I was fighting. Muzelk tried to get cheeky and, and tried to go toe to toe with this. Mistakes, oh no. Jordan Fisher has been eliminated there in the top left in your elimination feed. I this hope. spell disaster. Yep, Koa, definitely someone to be afraid of, traveling all the way from South Korea to be here today. But Scarlet and Ellie, man, just you got to respect Sad. He pushed off four players in that situation. Matt Judon, unfortunately, just wasn't doing or contributing too much in those final moments. So he really was up there just kind of putting it all down. Took out Moose South, but get Ellie here. Scarlet, they're out. This slip frame is going to be so helpful as he zooms by another fight. He's like, all right, time to start dolphining. This is what we call when you're in the slip stream. You just kind of come out and then kind of go back in and launch up and then come back down. Now we're over to Ninja. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Marshawn yet again has been down. So Ninja's got to make something happen. Hopefully he picked up the card because there is a, a respawn vent here in Lucky Landing, but look. There's even more players. Ooh, Ninja and Bucky. Bucky's oh, Lupo is here. Tifu is right around the corner. And Dr. Lupo is right about that as well. But Ninja trying to take on Bucky. No, this is the wrong player to fight. Bucky's already qualified for this. Oh, he tried. It doesn't even matter. Kenneth and Bucky push right on through. This is why he's going to the World Cup, guys. And that's going to be their first elimination. You can see too when Bucky picked up the the uh, elimination there with Kenneth, there was big smiles. They're like, "That's oh. Ninja, you know, that's a confidence booster." Yes, I got to meet uh, Bucky's mother and Bucky. We did a little bit of a interview earlier today, and she said she's his biggest supporter. She almost said, "I, I believe word for her said, I, I, I fan girl for for my son," and and that's her biggest supporter. But that's so awesome. That's the kind of support you love to see in the in the Fortnite community. But you know, hop around here. I'm curious. What's our boy Dr. Lupo doing? Let's let's take a moment to see. So remember, Jordan Fisher got picked up. There he is, giving the, the finger gun. I like it. Loadout's looking pretty good. He's got that single shadow bomb. If he's got to try and make himself to safety. So if I'm Dr. Lupo, I'm thinking, all right, what do I need to do here to get placements first, right? Let's at least make it into that top 15 first. Then I'll look to pick up E-Limbs. You know, people are not going to really be paying attention to a single player if he's playing it right, playing it slow, playing it a little bit uh, sneaky. But I mean, there's still quite a number of big names left in the lobby. Aiden, Lemix, Patriota, Nick A30, Cloak, Kayun, Lachlan, Bruce Brown, just to name a few, Nick Merckx as well. That's right, and don't forget, guys, if you see something you like, make sure you guys use that hashtag, Summer Block Party, and hit us up on C uh, social media, guys. We love to see the clips and those interactions. I'll be sharing everything that comes my way. But is, we saw some players hiding, it was Scarlet in the field and they turn cloak now they're sending off some fire shots here jacob is sitting in the dynamite nice little window play here he's got that right camera peek is he going to be able to find the opportunity is one well just kind of putting in some pressure another team was ready they heard they you know if you're, if you're playing fortnite for any extended period of time you know what that Ooh. distinct dynamite sound sounds like 70 over onto that player though that was a blue number, so the question is how much shield do they have left? Were they on 100? Were they less? Jacob, one he, he already knows. He hit the dynamite, so he's going in right here. Look at He's just trying to get this shot, Whoa! and that's one! Great shot on Douglas! He took the wall so quick! And now look at this. Someone else trying to build above him, and Jacob is saying, look, let's, there's someone trying to aggress. We've got to build. Got to make sure we can get around him, but do it in a good way to make sure we get this next rotation safe. And look at this. Jacob's like, look, we got to start making our way over. Come on, make your way over to me. Power, though. He's in a tough spot right now. Hey, but I love it. They just counted it out as a huge victory for them, right? You know what? We got the Elam. 
I'm just gonna back out of here now. Bye bye to your teammate. Get some fresh loot. And they're off. To, they're off. They're gonna get the next zone. And Flake, man, if he gets too aggressive, you gotta understand this guy already took care of your teammate. Oh, that's what happens. Jacob says, "Ah, oh, we didn't forget about you, buddy. Thanks for coming this way and <laughs> takes him right out the game." So while Connor's in here, like, all right, you know, we should probably make, you know, make this rotation. His dual partner's like, I've been, I've been watching this guy. All right, yeah, no, he's like, listen, like, yeah, yeah, we'll make the rotation, sure. Blah! God, he walked here. Check it out. Over with Kurt. Just waiting, biting. They've got a launch pad when they need to bail. Looks like Kurt also had that RPG in hand. Look at the loadout coming in right now. Ooh, I like it. I like it. And they're in the current safe zone. Feeling pretty good. And, and I love this right here. Ewok rocking that Falcon jersey to represent her, her teammate. Kurt Ben Kurt was on the Falcons. That's pretty cool right there. A little bit of extra love right there. You can see she's throwing out a couple pings right here, trying to communicate with her duo. For an opportunity here. I like that Ewok is pre-editing things. She's waiting. She's not confirming it. She's saying, if we need to bail, I've got the, the editing ready. Here we go. The launch pad comes out. That's the kind of things, those little things are going to help you level up your gameplay when you're playing Fortnite. And now here we go. Ewok looking to get aggressive. I mean, look, we know Ewok is insane. She's about to show you guys why. Someone's letting out some shots. Her teammate is split up. What's she going to do? She's got to back him up here. Look at the thought process there as well. We know shots are coming in, and instead of her trying to figure out where the player is going, she's trying to reinforce their move, making sure this is as stable as possible. You hear explosions. She's going to pass over some half shields here, the, some of the minis, excuse me. And now this is where things, it was good too, is they're in the next safe zone. There's, oh gosh, Nick is here. Is, oh, is Nick Symphony. who's bothering them over in the box. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is gonna be a good battle here, Zeke. We might see unfold in just a bit. Ewok messing with a couple edits, trying to decide if she's gonna wanna be. You got another see minute. a couple of fun facts about the player Cam. Ewok, a 13-year-old streamer. You're the youngest Fortnite player here at the uh, Pro-Am. So, the youngest competitor we can see here. Oh, no! Oh, Nick wins the exchange the right there. Back. It was very close, but Kurt, you gotta do something. You gotta go quick. Start applying pressure. He's trying, he's trying. Oh, so close. Kurt Ben Kurt almost won the exchange right there, but Nick was just a little faster on the draw. Beat Ewok to the wall and punished in those moments. Nick had a fantastic last game, was only shut down because he didn't have materials. You guys tuned in a little late, but he made it all the way through to end game. And now look, they have four eliminations already. Don't forget, they're also in the top 10, like literally on the leaderboards, the standing. So, showing you guys why. So take a look at Tifu's kind of trailing behind, no eliminations. If you've been watching Nova Qualifiers, you know this is classic Tifu. He's, he's got an abundance of material, sitting on a nice little perch for the bird's eye view, waiting for enemies to make a mistake. He is so good at capitalizing on any little error that enemy players make. If they make a wrong edit, if they make a wrong build, a wrong rotation, he is always in the right place, in the right mindset to take advantage of that. Josh Hart and him are gonna begin their rotations there. Now, I always say this, don't forget, top 15 is the, the first round of placing points. We need another seven duels to fall before those points come out. Jordan Jones and Gotaga going to be picked up there in the elimination Feed. And look at this next half in, half out, man. That circle is, is dangerous. It's better than going south, though, because at least they're going to stay on the land. So True. you got to count your small blessings while you can right there. Now another look here. Tifu always got those <laughs> front row tickets. He's always he just, he just hit the show. He's like, I'm sitting up on this perch. I'll tell you what, let's come over here and build a new perch. This is my home. Chris Thompson's got that minigun. He doesn't have a lot of ammunition. He's actually really hurting here. Fortnite term, we like to call this shambles. He is in shambles. They want an elimination. They need something. Because, like you said, man, they've got basically nothing to work with. Now, he's probably calling out this enemy team here in front. you got to think Dank Ops is probably up on the high ground just above him. He's getting a nice little uh, surveilling the land. You know, who do I think I see? I recognize these types of builds. He's just looking all around. He's like, oh no, slips out oh, the middle. Oh no! Took some fall damage right there. Gave a little 
Too much pressure. He's trying to sneak underneath those builds. <laughs> He's looking at his team like, man, yeah. I'm so sorry, dude. He was, he was maybe a little too focused up on what the task uh, at hand, you know, what was in front of him. Look at this Aiden. He's, he's ready, man. He's swooping in like an eagle, just taking away the high ground from everyone else. Aiden is our number one elimination leader in this current round so far, guys. He's at five elims. Oh. That's a storm flip. It's pushing him way up top. This, this is scary because the higher he goes, the you know, more unsafe it becomes if it's not held up by too much. He's got to be real careful. They, they don't seem to be in any danger right now, which is he's really got, He's got a rift. You know, making the quick rift play as you're falling, pretty tough. Nick Merckx, though, going to be picked up by Connor Bell and Jacob and shut out of the lobby, especially at a top 15. You hate to see it. More eliminations coming in. Josh Hart as well goes down to power. And look at this. Aiden finds Patriota. Dude, I see Bucky all in the Elam feed as well right now. So Bucky looks like he's having a great game. Out comes the Rift to go. Oh, it's time to rotate. Lachlan picks up Cloaksy. Wow. And look at this, Lupo finding more eliminations as well. Here's the focus. Aiden says, yay. It's a little bit of a high ground right there. Maybe we want to snatch this up. It is in the zone. He does have material to hold it as well. Nick A30 still in the game. You see down there, Symphony as well. So many players still alive. Tifu's still in this game. He's got a baller. He's jumping in and out that vehicle. Aiden lands right on top of power and wins the exchange. Down goes power. It's his high ground now. You can see Lost King lands right inside with this duo. Kind of finishes him up. So Aiden is doing so good right now because they have seven eliminations now. Man, Rob is doing so good working with Aiden, you know. When we talked with him in the player lounge, he's like, look, look, I know Aiden. I know Aiden's very good. Whatever he does, I'm just going to follow, right? And you can see right. they're, they're playing so well together. Whatever Aiden calls, Rob is ready to follow up on this and back him up. Oh, that's his right there. Oh, it's oh. Nick! Another knock, Zeke. That's it. He's gone. He's been eliminated. That duo is out, especially at the top five. But it's okay. Look how many big names are still left. Bucky, KU, and Tifu. Rob from Lost King goes down. Aiden's got to respond fast. He's got to do something. Yes, he's in this game right now to win it. He just took out another player. Aiden is on it, and he's got the high ground. Tifu goes down to Bucky or KU in there. KU still in this game. It's a 1v1 now. Bye bye, KU. This is Aiden versus Bucky. Two World Cup qualifiers going toe to toe right here. What's he gonna do? This is like a little bit of a playground battle. He's holding that high ground. You know what's a nice little one twos? He does have 700 materials. Well, still, no cartwheel. You know, showing him that he's here. Let's show. <laughs> Aiden here, he wants this. He's so hungry for this extra points. Coming out, he old, oh, so yes, close. The shot missed, but it's okay. Right now, Aiden's got health advantage. Bucky's is about on 100, okay, excuse me, 85 effective HP. He wants this, look at this. Aiden's just supplying pressure. Oh, tries to go oh, high ground. This might have been a mistake. This is Aiden we're talking about. More damage over on the shields. Bucky's down to nothing, and Aiden. So close in the final moments. Bucky, with all that pressure on his shoulder, could not handle Aiden, who was stone cold. He saw a little cartwheel there. He's kind of saying, hey, listen, this is nothing. I got this high ground. He felt really good about it. Ice in the veins. Let's take a look at that again. And just look at Aiden. He is so ready to isolate Bucky. Everything he's doing is forcing Bucky here to make a mistake. And in the end, Aiden capitalizes, forcing him out of the storm, and it's enough to close it all out. I mean, the crazy part is, this is just like a little taste of what the World Cup is gonna be like, because the skill is real, the energy is real. Loving the crowd reactions right now. That was a fantastic little ending right there, and Aiden takes the game. That's a huge accomplishment here at the Pro-Am. But also huge props to Rob, you know? He's sticking to his guns, doing everything he said. I'm just gonna stick with Aiden, make sure that we're playing our best. And in the end, you know, we saw as long as Aiden's leading the pack, Rob's right behind, ready to finish off eliminations, pick up materials, pick up weapons, ammo, and just keep that momentum moving forward. And that's what helped them get that dub. Rob, I'm, I'm feeling it, dude. If you ever wanna carry me, Probably never gonna happen because we'll <laughs> never play games together. But I'd personally like it if you carry me. Anyway, uh, yeah, games. Games are cool. Games. Are, Fortnite, great stuff. Love here. Fortnite. Love Fortnite. Love these uh, these moments, these interactions. You know that that end game was stacked.
Kayun, Tifu, Aiden, Bucky. I mean, I talked about I'd be happy if a, a duo made it all the way to the end. Shout out to Lost Kings Rob, man. He he made it all the way there. Yeah. I, in fact, close. you know what? I want to send it down to Rob right now with Pookie Face, who's standing by with an interview. And Rob, I just want you to know you're amazing. <laughs> Did you hear that, Rob? Zeke? Zeke wants to let you know that you're amazing. Oh, hey, I try. I just try to learn from my partner, Aiden, who is the best. Oh, listen to that. Congratulations, you two, on taking game number two. Aiden, you had 10 eliminations. High ground warrior there right at the end. You love to see it. How does it feel to be in the stadium playing with all of these fans here? Oh, it's the most amazing feeling ever, being around all these content creators and you know, celebrities and the crowd is amazing. Let's go. I'm so happy to be here. This is like such a great moment with this. Oh, I love this. We love having you as always. Now going into the next game, I know earlier we kind of talked about you were just going to follow Aiden around and do what he said. Is that going to continue to be your strategy? Yeah, I think anything he says, I'm just going to do it. Uh, it worked the first time, worked the second time, so I'm going to keep following his orders. Well, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? And finally, you know, this is a lot of money on the line for charity today. Aiden, tell me about the charity you're going to be donating towards if you win. Uh, my charity is the Wounded Warriors. Shout out to my grandpa and my dad. They're vets, so I uh, love the vets. You know, you can never go wrong with that. I agree. Well, thank you guys so much. Good luck in your next game. Zeke, Monster, back to you. Rob sitting here talking like he's following orders. He is absolutely wrong. Rob, it's not following orders. You're just cooperating with your duo. I know you're secretly the mastermind, Rob. I'm on to you. I, mean, I see you. We, we saw it at the creative showdown. The best teams kept quiet when it came down to exposing strats. So, you know, I'll give them a little little kind of, nah, man, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just following Aiden. Yeah, I just following Aiden. You know, a Aiden's been the one getting elimination. You got to think of, like, I'm Rob. I'm like, what up, what up, what up? They're at 99. Hey, Aiden, uh, there's someone wounded over there. Yeah, yeah. Mission. Great, great Elon. Great Elon, Aiden. Of course, we're just kidding. Aiden is phenomenal. That's why he has qualified for the World Cup Finals coming up. But, man, what a powerful duo. If they have a repeat performance like that, gonna I'm going to be losing my voice. Actually, it's already happening slowly. I hope no one can hear it. I'm embarrassed about it. You gotta hold it down, Zeke. Contain it, contain it, contain it, because there's so much going on. But talking about things going on, let's all send it over to Sundown, who's got a little recap for us. Thank you so much, Monster and Zeke. That last match was incredible. Aiden and Rob proving that they weren't stuck or too far gone, able to take the top spot away with another impressive performance. And I mean, so far, the tail of the tape has been those World Cup qualified players absolutely dominating the competition. Let's take a look at some of the gameplay they were able to show in the last match. But first, we're gonna kick it off with FPX Zad and what they were able to do to the previous match victor so you see him throwing out the grenades actually picks up rl grime saying you can catch that one and then pushes forward and is able to take him out that was the partner of airwalk so managed to throw a little bit of a stick there in their game plan and then followed it up with another great elimination just watch him edit down right away finds the combat shot and picks up Musel brilliantly done there from FPX at and his partner but now on board here with Kenneth Fareed and Bucky just recently signed Envious but you can see Kenneth push right in and take out Ninja but Aiden would not be overdone again the only controller player in the world so far to have qualified for the duos portion of the competition but Bucky says you can hold this hold my pickaxe picks up the double there onto Jarvis brilliantly done and we would see those end up matching up later but now look at a quick little edit coming out from Jacob able to push in and find Nick Mertz and just barely coming to the rescue of Connor there did end up getting knocked but was able to get it there so that's some of the gameplay it will give you guys a look and one other thing you don't necessarily always get to see is how these guys communicate so let's take a quick listen in to what one of these duos sounds like when they're getting started and trying to figure out What's going on? I think they might have dipped. They might be down in the basement though. In the basement of my our house, our house, of yeah. my home? Of your home, dude. Of my yeah. home? Where my family sleeps? But your family <laughs> sleeps, bro. All right, well, 
I mean, now that is one good example of communication. They were able to figure it out. They were in the basement and they kicked it out of there. So we got to see how one of these duos communicates. Let's take a little listen in to how another duo ends up communicating with Nick A30 and his partner. Oh, he just RPG'd me. Be careful. They're gonna start pressuring. Got one down. Getting pressured. He's low. He's no okay. shield. Okay. Got nice, him. Joey. Let's go, dude. Okay. Let's try to get all this stuff. Uh, I think the other person's mask fell down, so let's just not even worry about it. We just got. And you can see they're not dropping any of the info. Brilliant communicated from Nick A30. He's all about educational commentary, making sure you level yourself up while getting it out there. Him and his partner, Joey, able to clean that one up. A fine example of how you work together. The two matches so far have been incredible. We have two more, and we're going to throw it back up to the caster's desk with Zeke and Monster. Gentlemen, take it away. Thank you so much. Sundown, we are back. We're hanging out here at the Pro-Am. In case you're just tuning in at home, welcome. Hope you've had an incredible Father's Day. Of course, shout outs to fathers across the world. Now, uh, after these first two games, Monster, I think it's time to look at the standings. You know, what has shaken out? We saw Airwax clutch up a big win, but after game number two, are they still in first? They are not. Oh, it's Aiden who takes that first place. The king of communication, Nick A30, is up in fifth as well. And let's take a look at that. Bucky had a great game that last round. A little bit of consistency. Yeah. Gonna pull him up to third as well. And Airwalks just kind of bumped down. They could not earn any points that, that round right there. And that shows you consistency is going to be everything. Not just one big kind of game is going to hold you up here. Right. You got to play all four relatively good or you're going to fall behind. That's right. A lot more consistency has to come out of Airwalks. But again, more players here. Your top 20 currently. Now, Fortnite fam, I got a question for you. You guys know Peely, right? It's the banana guy. You guys know Peely, right? Have you ever wondered how Peely came to be? I, I can show you how Peely came to be, all right? We've been debuting these across all weekend. You saw the one of Jonesy on the island. But now, in case you didn't see it, I want to show you how Peely came to be. Um, I like it. We'll be debuting more of those over the weekend. Maybe you were here yesterday. You got to see some, but we're going to have uh, more to show. But of course, Fortnite fam, after those two games, we, they were pretty heated games. I think we need to go to a break, all right? A little short break. But stick around, because our, our house DJ, Mike Realm, is going to be spinning. So Mike Realm, take us out. 